Hey, what's up? How's it going? Good morning to everybody or good afternoon. I am going to show you how to make an oats tortilla, if you will. So what you're going to need is just a spoon, some oats. In this case, I have Quaker oats, old fashioned. And what you're gonna need is a one-to-one -one ratio. So first, you're gonna get a blender, one of these handheld ones, something that blends. I, think, I don't think that's enough. So you gotta measure it once it's blended. He could get in, it's fine. <laughs> and then you blend or not. <laughs> oh, bloopies. Gotta turn the bottle. Oh, like that? Ah. Your old tortilla. And it has to be primarily seasoned. If there's some chunks in there, that's okay. <laughs> One last one. Is that good enough? Okay. So. It should look molido, blended, somewhat like that. Measure it out. Remember, you want a one-to-one -one ratio. Not Horatio. Ratio. <laughs> what did I say, ratio? So we have about what? We have about a third again. So then you're going to add back into your blender or back into your bowl. And you're going to add, what, a third of water? Yeah. One water is good. One water. Uh, I think I got it about right. Put it in this bowl. Mm -hmm. And then what do you do? Mix it. You can use your finger. Don't use your finger. You can use a spatula. I think so. You can even put it back in the blender. Yeah. Put it back in the blender and mix it, mix it, mix it. I'm going to get all the content. Oh, yeah. That feels, you know, you can see this is the type of recipe you can make while people are bugging you. Because we're in lockdown. <laughs> well, all right. So your consistency should be like that. Mix it, mix it more. Mix it more. Okay. So it sticks together. So it has to bind. Like family. Like family. Not at this time right now, though. You don't want all family to stick together, but... <laughs> Some of them didn't know how to stick together. Some of them have been excommunicated. <laughs> all right. So we're at minute three. And at this time, you should have been warming up your um, non-stick pan. Non -stick pan. We will have a video on how to make a non-stick pan later because I know most of you Can you don't turn off that radio, one. please? So that I could, um... Thank you. So that I could put it right there with my brother who's teaching me how to cook this recipe. Yes. <laughs> All right. Now just to make sure you put a little layer of oil or butter. Just a touch if you have a non-stick. This one? Yeah. Okay. If you have a sticky pan, then layer some oil. Not too much. All right. That's good enough. All right. I think the people medium want to see high, the actual. Medium high. Medium mm. high heat. Go for it. Whoopsies. Okay. And then? <laughs> Three tablespoons real quick. Three tablespoons real quick. Wait. One more place in this? Huh? One more place in this? With who? Who would I replace you with? I would, <laughs> I would need another dumbass to replace you. No. Three? I see, yeah. like, yeah, quick, one quick, after quick. the other. Make it two. <laughs> <laughs> now and go. Then, 
and spread Mike, it. Take the phone and, and show them what okay. I'm going to do. All right. Let us see. And you want to make it thin. Don't be afraid. It's going to break up in parts. Don't be afraid. You still can fix it. But make it really thin. Make it really thin. If you end up with oats that are with the mixture that is a little too thick, add more water. Remember, it's like when you're baking. Depends on your house, how hot it is, how dry it is. So, you know, you want it loose. Like when a baby throws up. <laughs> so now you got to play cook, baker, chemist, meteorologist. And just gorgeous Mexican male. <laughs> there we go. And so you could see some of it. Now medium already. and above. Okay. Heat. Gotcha. And you're going to wait for the top to dry. Because it's going to be wet. But once it's dry... Maybe the little corners are a little bit brownish, but not too much. Mm -hmm. And no, it's not burning. Now, I'm a professional. I just flip it. <laughs> but people like me need Use one of spatula. these. Yes, I wash <clears throat> my hands. But you don't know where I washed them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, some people... We'll only cook it a minute, maybe a minute and a half one side, maybe a minute on the other. And the inside will be a little wet. Mm -hmm. But if you eat it when it's warm, it tastes real good. But if you don't want it that way, just cook it longer. Right. Mm -hmm. And so here we are waiting for paint to dry. <laughs> now, if you don't like it that wet, just press it a little bit. And you're going to get a little like, like when... Uh, Dr. Pimple Popper comes out. Look at oh. that. <laughs> and just squeeze the wet out of it. I don't. But some people are like, I want it. I want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Wet. I said, well, you want it wet, girl. <laughs> wow. And you flip it. And you do the same thing. Is this is this a family channel? Because I just went X-rated. <laughs> but this None. is Becky Uncut. <laughs> right. I suggested to Becky that she should have the channel called Becky Unplugged. <laughs> Too late for that. Here we go. She's actually the lockdown diva. <laughs> We're going to hashtag that. And so you're going to have... And if you want to keep playing, we'll keep playing. <laughs> now this is done. It really is. I uh, can put it right there. Okay. You see? And you're going to you can have... see... If you let it rest, it'll oh. be more flexible, but it's still flexible like a tortilla. Yes, it looks like a tortilla. You will be able to bend it and make tacos or crepes or whatever it is you want to do. Mm. But this is for a lockdown recipe. All the Mexicans went to Ranch Market. <laughs> they took all the stuff. You have no tortillas. And as you know, that's an emergency for a Mexican. Yes. What do you mean we got no tortillas? And don't nobody know how to mask. Masa, nothing, and yeah, nothing. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Get all that. those goddamn oats that you know you've never used. Blend them. Blend it. Make your own tortilla. Now, you can make it prettier than this. I was just like, whatever. Look, I make them bigger too. I just made this a few minutes ago for a special <laughs> fat girl. Look at that. <laughs> it's been girl. sitting here for like five minutes. Look at that. It's not going to break, it's going to roll. It's very soft. It'll take it. Ah, right? Pa, pa, pa. And if you're asking what it tastes like, okay. pues como well, it old. tastes like shit. No, it does. <laughs> it does not. It does not taste like that whatsoever. Um, like I said, water, one to one ratio. Low calories. Low calories. So you can eat like five of this for one mm -hmm. corn tortilla because one serving is half a cup of oats and that's 150 calories but as you saw we only Yay. used one third cup so. and we're getting two tortillas out of this that's a tortilla size yeah and if you make them if you put a little more water it'll get thinner you make them even thinner you're gonna get like three tortillas out of this you'll get street tacos you will case. get you will eat five of these for every one corn tortilla tell me you're not gonna lose the weight that way yeah you will Plus, you get heart healthy, cholesterol, <laughs> and uh, you poop more. <laughs> uh, 
So and as you know, you we're all full see, of shit. All right, I'm out. Quarantine, day five for us, kind of, sorta. And um, easy recipe to follow if you guys have any questions or if you guys try this recipe, yeah, make sure <laughs> make sure to tag us um, on my Instagram and it is linked in my um, <laughs> YouTube bio. Thanks.